all have mirrors in our house. Some just regular mirrors, some just enlarge the image for us to see certain things if we have a bit of failing eyesight. And many times when you look at the mirror, you can see precisely what's going on. You see your reflection, you can you you see whom, whom you know, but when you turn away and you walk away, you don't always remember precisely what you look like. But you have, as you go along, and the more you stay away from the mirror, as you go along, you have an inner self that you remember and that you see. And there's, it is reflecting your, your feelings, your emotions, your pain. That, that which you remember and sometimes um, your psyche, your spirit. It always, it, it's not about your appearance that, that you see and that you remember. And when you think of your appearance, you, you just have this vague image if you think about it for a moment. But when you look in the mirror and you look carefully, you can see what is wrong, what is not there, what you have that you should take away, what you should put on, how you should comb your hair. And it is a very true and an effective reflection because when you look in a mirror, what you see is what there, there is. So I want to read what James Wright wrote in 122. But become doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if every, anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a man studying his natural face in a mirror. And for he studies himself and he, and he goes away and immediately forgets what he was like. But whoever looks into the perfect law of liberty and continues in it, he is not a full forgetful hearer but a doer of the work, this one shall be blessed in his doing. And this is such an effective and metaphor, if you think about it, because when we look deep into the word of God and we stay in it, we constantly see what we can correct, what we can do, what we can add on, how we need to live, what we should actually act out as believers, not just believe, but also do and have the works. That is why the, the scriptures should be our mirror with what that we effectively apply that to our lives. Because it is so important to think about this. When you do that, you will be fruitful. When you move away, you will forget what you actually should be like. And that is why it's so important to stay in the Word, to go deeper into the Word, to just measure yourself according to what the Word of God says. Let's pray together. Thank you, Father, that we have a mirror in the Scripture. The Bible is our mirror. It shows us what we should do, how we should live, how we should apply your Word to our lives and it keeps us Lord from going astray and just looking silly and ridiculous. I just want to say thank you for your word in Jesus name. Amen.